Uh, 110 grams of iron is added to 0.4 moles of hydrogen chloride. What is the mass of iron 3 chloride that should be produced from this mixture? The first thing you need to do is write the balanced equation. All right, and to do that, we're going to write iron plus hydrogen chloride. I'm going to say it's aqueous just because I know it's aqueous. And the good news is it tells you what is made. Iron 3 chloride. But I can't just get rid of hydrogen, can I, Zobi? Can I just get rid of hydrogen? Does it disappear? Does it go to nowhere? Does it just go up into space? All right, now I need to balance this. All right, before I can do anything, I need to balance this. All right? What would I have to do? Yes? Two, six, two, six, two, three. What do you think? I thought it was. Oh, okay. That's the same thing. All right. Yeah. All right. Convert moles, Fe to moles. So I have 11.10 uh, one, one, gram Fe. And I know that my. Mass of iron is going to be 55.85 grams of Fe. Right? Yes? That's what you should do for the first one. Not be confused. What'd you get? Zero point. Mole Fe. All right. Does anybody have a question about that part? Yes. Uh, oh yes, sure. I combined this and this. That means H is N by itself. So H by itself. I bring play for our new house. So we bring that, like, oh. Yeah, you can't just get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. all I did was a replacement, all right? A single replacement. All right, so now the stoichiometric mole ratio of Fe to HCl. What do I have? Two over six. What does that equal? 0. Point. Okay, now let's make sure you understood the email that I sent. So at this point, if this number increases, right? If number is bigger, then Fe is excess. If the number goes down, then Fe is limiting. So, Wait, let's, yes? And it's the same as stoichiometric. Wait, right? Oh, so does that have to be like exactly the same, or can it be like random? Pretty close to almost the same. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to take my Fe moles, which are right here, 0 0.191978. And divide by my problem moles, 0 0.400. Does anybody have a number? Everybody should have a number. 0. Okay. Is the number bigger or smaller than this number? So that means that Fe has to be an excess. Iron is an excess. Was it limiting? This is your, yes? So the problem ratio is bigger than the stoichiometric ratio. Well, you can flip it either way. It doesn't matter. But then the denominator is limiting and the denominator is excess. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what is eliminate? HCL, 0 0.4 mole. All right, so now, very easy, I can solve the problem. But if you don't want to do all that stuff, all you have to do is do the problem twice for what you have. Like, you can do all that background stuff, or you can just solve the problem twice with the two numbers you have, as we did last class. Okay. Like for you got zero point one nine eight seven six. I got almost. I one. haven't done any sig digs yet. Okay, so would you have to put one nine eight seven six? Because I put I rounded it. Okay. You cannot round premature until your answer. Okay, so no rounding. So I don't round until I get. My, if it's in my calculator. I'm going to use it until my final answer. The question is asking what mass of iron three chloride. Nothing that I've done so far is indicative of the mass of iron three chloride. My final answer has to have how many significant digits? Three, four. Three. Four. It has to have three. Why does it have to have three? Yes. Point zero point four zero zero mole has three. Eleven point one zero has four. All right. I'm going to erase this and move down and solve this problem. All right, so here we go. All right, so now I have to use my 0 0.400 mole HCl, right? Justin, didn't you have questions? Um, on this one? Well, in general. What is, what is that? No, you, you just don't need your iPad. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Is you don't hear. If you want to be a regular chemistry, you can use your iPad all you want. This is honors chemistry, right? If I am lecturing, we don't need to have an iPad, especially when people have questions. All right, what am I going to do on the bottom? Six mole HCl. All right, I'm trying to find iron three chloride. How many moles of that do I have? Two. How many? Two. Two mole. All right, I'm going to cross that off, cross that off. Now I need to find the mass, yes? Why can't you just make it one over two? You can reduce it before you solve it. All right, but the problem ratio is two to six. All right, proper setup. Like as I graded your test, it said proper setup. You can cancel after you set it up. All right, all I need to know is the weight of FeCl3. 105 plus 56 about. Should be about 105 plus 56. About. About 162 something. Okay, exactly. Okay, for the molar mass, okay. Like all the problems before we, we did them, like kind of like rounding, like we rounded it and added it and added it. That's, is that okay? Like I did 161. It depends on how, 161 is not anywhere close to the answer. Are you that will definitely answer? be off. It won't be right. Are you it's definitely not 161. If you're 162 point something, you're fine. 161, not good. Because you rounded 35.45, you can't round that. You have to round 35. All right, so answer, buddy. 21.6. I'm going to box it because I'm a good student. I heard 21.63 is what I heard. All right, so 21.6, three significant digits. If reaction is described is carried out and the iron three chloride is separated right away, it is found to have 17.8 grams. Calculate the percent yield. All right, remember, 
This is the theoretical amount we're going to get. This is the actual. So we do actual divided by theoretical times 100. 21.6 times 100 equals 82.4. Sig figs are good. 3 and 3. 82.4. All right. Other questions? You want me to go <coughs> Is your chance? It's recorded. You can watch it again while you're studying. Would you like any other questions? Yeah. Yes. Oh, um, like number 12. 12. Let's do number 12. Number 12. I like number 12. Uh, okay. So I have to do number 11 and do number 12. Solutions of ammonium sulfide and let you nitrate are mixed. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Ammonium, NH4, and sulfide are mixed. If you don't write the, the equation right, you're not gonna get it right. I saw on a lot of the tests that I was grading is, some of you, it doesn't even look like you look at the back of your periodic table that has the stuff you're supposed to memorize already. Make sure you use the back of the periodic table. Right? Ammonium sulfide is NH42S. And it's a solution. So it's aqueous. Plus lead to nitrate. Alright? Nitrate is NO3. Has a minus one charge. Let's put it up here. Lead to plus two. Nitrate. Alright? AQ. This is an AQ. Sorry, that's a little bit busted up. So, the good news is it tells you what it makes. That's so nice of me to tell you what it makes. What does it make? Ammonium nitrate? All right, that's a negative one and a positive one. I'm not worried about it. That is aqueous. And we have a precipitate, which what you're going to do today in the lab. Make a solid from two liquids. Lead to sulfide. PBS solid. All right, we got to make sure we balance it. I always like to do my polyatomics first. I have two ammoniums. I need two ammoniums on this side. I have two nitrates. I already have two nitrates. I'm done. All right? You never carry over subscripts for the 4,000th time that I've said that. You never carry over subscripts. That's why I did my bookkeeping right here. I said, look, it's negative one and positive one. This is negative two and plus two. You have to go based on what it is going to form. Never carry over anything. The only subscript you carry over is in what? Inside of a biatomic ion. You cannot change the structure of a polyatomic ion. Ammonium is NH4, nitrate is NO3, nitrate, whatever it may be. Okay, so at this point, if you struggle sometimes with the formula mass, you can go through and do all the formula masses of all of these right here. So you have them at your beck and call when you do the problem. I do not struggle with that. So that'll be up to you. All right, at 10.4 grams, ammonia is weighed out. Dry dissolve with excess lead to nitrate. Theoretically, what mass of lead to sulfide can be produced by this mixture? All right, so I'm gonna take my 10.4 grams. NH4, 2S. I am going to convert that into what? Moles. And what is the amount that I would get? I have 28 and 8, 36. And 32, about 68 something. What'd you get, 68.17? Yeah. Nice, I like that. 
68.17 grams. All right, 68.17 gram. NH4, 2S, and one mole. At the third step, what am I gonna put? Based on the equation, all right? Let me cross these off. I always cross off whatever I'm gonna be getting rid of so I know how many moles of this do I have? One mole. And I'm going to PBS. I have one mole of that, that's great. So basically I can just get rid of that whole thing. That's gone, that's gone. All right, so right now I have 10 divided by 68.17. So I'm thinking, you know, like point something. All right, what do I do at the end? One mole PBS. And the weight of PBS on top, the terrible S. So 207.2 plus 32.06, what do you get? Ah, yes. All right. So the good news is some of you are going to turn the corner to 39 point what? 26 grams PBS. Cross off, cross off. I got 10 times 232 divided by 68.17. Anybody have any number? 36.5? Okay, what do we call that number? What is that, that term of that number? Theoretical, what is this number right here? Let's divide. Anybody have a percentage, Deanna? Um, 64.1%. Are there any others? Yes? Number four, isn't that applied to number one? Yeah. This one right here? Okay, well, what was the form, what was the equation we were using? Okay, so we have that. 2.87 grams. Did I do it right? 2.87 grams of aluminum mixed with two oxygens of this convert to moles. 2.87 divided by 27, 26.99, 26.98, 26.98. That's all you need to do, and then you can get the mold. Same thing with oxygen. All right, uh, I just cut out the, O2. So if you didn't have O2, you would have got that wrong. Uh, anybody have the number here? I got 0.106. 0.106? Anybody have a number, the correct number for 2 divided by 32? Go ahead, what'd you get? 0.06? 06. 06. 2 5. Oh. You're not going to round yet. All right, none of this stuff is your final answer. All it's asking you is to tell me the mass of aluminum oxide. That's when you round. That's when you get your answer. Stoichiometric mole ratio of aluminum to oxygen, 4 over 3. Is that still right? Problem ratio, aluminum is 0 0.106 over 0 0.0625. What do you get when you have that? 
Zero point eight four. Zero point six nine six. Six nine. I mean one. I got one point six nine six. One point six nine six. Now I ask you this: Is this number bigger or smaller? Bigger. That means then this is in excess. All right, aluminum is in excess. So that means this is excess. What is eliminating? Oxygen. All right, you want me to do the math? Rania, do you want me to do the math? Can you do it? Are there questions? Questions? That's limiting. Yeah, we just we start with the, start with whatever. We already did a conversion. We don't need to do anything else. You already did the first step by doing this. That is the first step. You'll get the same answer. Watch. Zero point six two five. Three mole oxygen and two mole Al2O3. One mole Al2O3. What is the mass of Al2O3? Should I have about 50 times? Nine six. Cross it off, cross it off, cross it off. I'm left with grams 4.25. Trusting you, Kathy, did you get it right? Is that what you got? Yeah. 